I've had my kayak now for a couple of years. I picked it up from BCF for $100. Um, bit of a bargain. Normally retails at $550, $600, somewhere around there. I'm having a few problems with it. Um, it spins around uh, pretty bad. Uh, always wants to face backwards. So I want to put a skeg on the back of it. Um, I'm a bit too fat for the kayak, to be honest. So I want to put some pontoons on because I want to add a live wheel. And at the moment, it's just it's pretty tippy. And I just don't want to end up in the drink with all my gear. So the live wheel is going to add weight. Um, so the pontoons are a definite. I thought about going to Hobie or something like that. Um, but I just, just can't justify the expense at this stage. Uh, I've got other things going on um, in the family. So I've just got to deal with this one and renovate some kind of poor man's kayak out of it. Uh, <clears throat> so I've been mucking around with it recently. Uh, I've put together the structure. Uh, so agonised over how to build it for a couple of weeks. Uh, bought some PVC and mucked around a bit. And uh, sort of figured that the kayak was too small and um, I was going to need to do something a bit a bit out of the box. So <clears throat> what I've done is I've built the structure. I've used some aluminium rectangular tubes, some aluminium angle, stainless steel screws, bolts and nuts, etc. Some nylon washers, uh, rubber grommets, uh, and some plywood and some silicon. Uh, put together a little video of me making it. I hope you like it and um, feel free to ask questions in the comments. Cheers. Here's the aluminium rail I've had to custom make to fit on here as part of the structure. So you can see I've had to drill the holes out, top and bottom, so I can get the bolts in. And here you can see I've had to cut out to allow for the flush mount rod holder to fit through in that spot.
So today's modifications cost me all of about $52. That included the rod holders, they were 12 bucks each from BCF. The total investment in that kayak is to date $155. Can't go wrong. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, just look to future videos, people. Um, I'm hoping to put some pontoons on, that's why I built that platform, so that it will be strong enough to hold pontoons. Um, I'm not really aiming to stand up on the kayak, just move around on it. At the moment I can't even um, twist on it uh, without tipping the kayak and that's just not good enough. See you later everyone. Thanks for watching. Cheers to this bloke for all the advice he's been giving me lately. Go check his page out. The link's in the description. So what I'm doing at the moment is working out where my pontoons are going to sit so my paddle doesn't interfere with them. Not there. That looks about right.